how to do accurate global prophecies the title of this one it's an edition of the prophetic series and i'm glad to welcome you to this platform we've been doing a lot on this platform already about how to become a prophet how to do forensic prophecy prophecy on a pinpoint level how to understand the structures uh, structural patterning of forensic prophecy or prophetic accuracy and uh, precision here i want to guide you to a step-by-step -step process that leads you to be able to do accurate global prophecies i want to do that because i do these things myself and i have been able to teach my students in the shallow school of cs to be able to come back with accurate global prophecies at one point or the other under my supervision i've checked that over and over and there are elements that have given me the edge to be able to make some uh, global predictions and get them accurate and also mentored others to do the same and come back with accuracy so what are those elements i want to say I start by saying that the prophetic is not in isolation with scripture the prophetic is a stem up of the bible of the word of god so the word of god is the basis for the prophetic or operations of the prophetic or within the prophetic faculty that's where it stands from that being the case we're in the era of the holy spirit so the prophetic today as it is is led by the holy spirit so the people that are in the faculty of the prophetic or in the prophetic faculty are to be led by the holy spirit he's our boss you want to know who are those persons who can do global prophecies and accurately these are first and foremost the prophets then the apostles and prophetic people on a scanty note then we'll move into how to make or do accurate global prophecies that's our concern because we're, we're living in an age where doing prophecy that concerns the globe and then accurately is very pertinent cannot be overemphasized because god wants to raise prophets or prophetic people who can walk the church prepare the body of christ for the rapture for his glorious coming for the last things and he will be using people that have been properly brought up in the way of the word grounded so have that background idea about you so if you're in there <laughs> work yourself into scripture you have to be a bible-based person to be a great prophet of okay? god because those who do accurate global predictions are great prophets so you are right on your path to become a great prophet let me itemize what it takes to be uh, to do accurate global prophecies number one is mission somebody will say me vision i'll want to jump vision let's assume that you're already a prophet or let's assume that you know at least you're called to be a prophet then you are now reaching forth to be used by God to do global-based prophecies that will be accurate. The first thing you need as an item is a mission. Our question here will be that, is that mission a global, your mission a global-based mission? That's number one. What's, what exactly is God sending you into the prophetic faculty to do? If it has got a concern, a hands-on, a global-based mission, that's when you'd be expected to be used or uh, to do accurate global prophecies and be correct that's expected that's we will be expecting you the angels will be expecting you to do that god himself the father son and the holy spirit that you will be expecting yourself to do or be able to do accurate global prophecies coming back with 100 percent accuracy does that make sense so it's about your mission and when we talk about mission we're talking about issues like the vision that brought you into the prophetic thing as a matter of fact or prophetic faculty or prophesying as a matter of fact and then we're talking about your specific your functionality which will be roving around or talking about uh, the isolation of your specific role as a prophet because beyond functionality we have specific prophetic missions and then we have uh, patterns of prophecy okay we've got those ones that that's messianic pattern we've got the uh, confrontational pattern and then we've got the civic pattern where do you belong elijah was uh, confrontational elisha was civic jesus was messianic moses was messianic so where do you belong <laughs> so we talk or start these things with mission. so when you see somebody prophesying and doing global based prophecies and is doing them accurately it will boil down to what their mission is what's reflected in their mission 
Because God will not ask you to account for what he didn't send you to do. Therefore, he's not going to back you up if you are jumping into doing what in the prophetic he has not sent you to do as well. Have that. And let's move to the next point. Vision in this case. Point number two. Vision is a requirement for me to be able to do accurate uh, global predictions, accurate global prophecies. I've got or uh, developed a cost, cost that is called uh, micro forensic prophecy that teaches you everything it takes, complete uh, volume of what it takes to do global based predictions and be accurate as somebody who wants to or uh, who has been called into that office. Let's talk about vision here. Vision here is not talking about a vision that brought you into the prophetic. That's not what I'm talking about here when it comes to doing accurate global prophecies. I'm talking about the forms of visions that you do have. How they come. Let me explain why that. We've got the trance. Talking about types of visions, right? We've got open vision, inner vision, dreams, and all of that. Now, let's come. You should be able to enter into trance at will. All right, not everybody enter into trance at will. They enter spontaneously. And that spontaneity with which they enter into trance is masterminded or triggered by something they have been doing repeatedly and in order that necessitated or attracted or warranted the Holy Spirit to now launch them into a transition, provided the transition was spirit-led. So there are practices that I must be involved with on daily basis or at least regularly enough that will warrant the Holy Spirit to now say, okay, this one is deemed fit to be launched into the trans realm kind of vision where you now are conscious of where you are, but you are lost. Unconscious, I mean, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are awake is the consciousness I'm talking about, but you are lost because if I touch you when you are in a trance, you will not know somebody touch you. You will, lo you will lose uh, tact with the immediate environment. If you're sitting and we're discussing, you, you wouldn't even be hearing me, but you'll be sitting there and awake. And then you will be translated into another realm or projected into another realm or have a superimposition of a kind of that takes you into another realm where you are now observing literally everything that you are meant to observe as a prophetic package full session that you are going to come to narrate to us when you return back to your consciousness here that's about trance and the people get into these things spontaneously but however as a result of some practices they have been involved with regularly have it there is a conscious approach to entrance into trance i've done about three or more videos on how to enter into trance on a platform on youtube apostrom on Ida ministries you can check those out so let's move on here on visions we've got inner visions uh, when god called me in fact and said go prophesy to the dry bones that's over two decades plus now uh, when he said that it was an inner vision i wasn't seeing anything but i had the voice and everything was happening deep inside on the inside and that became what i'm doing today go we'll prophesy to the dry bones you see a message of hope for everyone in a nutshell and it came as an inner vision we have got those who've received their calling as trans and all of that we're not talking about vision in terms of calling here i'm telling you vision in terms of the clarity with which you appreciate the things you see in the kinds of visions that you receive and then the frequency with which you are able to enter into visions and then when you enter into visions all the individualized forms of vision like daniel will have some uh, have dream which is a kind of vision dream upon dream and then the clarity with which he received those dreams mattered and that told how come daniel was a global-based prophet making global prophecies out uh, doing accurate global prophecies you get that prophecies that daniel did back then are still valid as i speak now and some will still be valid if christ at least even if i leave this world Daniel's prophecy in scripture will still be standing there waiting for fulfillment. You get that? So those you see that are able to do global predictions, uh, global uh, accurate global prophecies are people that are one, conversant with at least a number of visions, are able to enter into these visions forms with ease, are able to come back with clarity when they enter into these vision forms, are able to transcend into appreciating heavenly body, bodies and appearance when they enter into visions are able to as well maintain 
the secrecy with the Holy Spirit that is required for somebody who has got access to that depth of vision. There are certain things that God will bring you into with order you not to share with anybody. That's the point there. So with that being said about visions, which you must be conversant with, that's why I say I've uh, done a full course on what it takes to uh, do global based prophet. You see yourself as a prophet who is called into the global prophetic scene and you want to be able to do prophecies you know, 100% you know, with 100% accuracy. I had one of my sons or uh, one of my past students from the French island. Yesterday in the morning, Donald Trump was declared somewhere the winner of the United States elections. He had told me a few weeks ago about his vision of Donald Trump. And what was his vision? He had seen on his screen in a vision, not in a dream, in a dream kind of vision, but in a real conscious vision, not not dream of the night. We were, a screen was placed before him, and then Kamala Harris and other politicians, global based politicians, were being scrolled, you know, pass in passing like that. They were just being flipped up, flipped up, flipped up. And when it came to the tent of Donald Trump, that the camera stayed on him. Uh, he was the one that was showing. He said it was, in fact, he described it as, as a television. That was how he saw the vision. It was a television. He said it stopped on Donald Trump. And then Donald Trump was magnified until he filled the whole screen. And he asked, he said, does this mean that he is the next president of the United States? And I told him, obviously he is. And he was declared the winner outrightly. And this is somebody who came to me for training when he knew nothing about how to prophesy. That's how, I, how good a kind of training in the shallow school of CS can take you to. We move to our next and very relevant uh, aspect of this thing on how to do uh, accurate global prophecies. And the word is burning. All of the great prophets in the Bible time, major prophets. And in the contemporary time, you see doing accurate global predictions or prophecies accurate global prophecies are prophets who've got body for what they are doing body as i was loaded with body jeremiah their burden was heavy for him ezekiel their burden the burdens you know when you how you know people that have got burden is how stressed and committed they are with their cause what they profess about themselves or to stand for how uh, obligated the field or indebted the field to what they have professed to be via calling. And that's what you identify Isaiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Jeremiah, Elijah, Elijah, Moses, these great prophets. And that's the distinction between today's uh, fast food prophets, <laughs> quick do prophets. <laughs> <laughs> and prophets that mean business. <laughs> we have the fast food prophets. <laughs> Look nice prophets. <laughs> you know, all these, uh, uh, they want to flow with fashion trend and everything. They want to look nice. They want to appear like celebrity. Oh, the great prophets you see appear like celebrities pass to hell. Something close to hell, if not hell, before you see them on the stage. They are shining, glittering, glittering on daily basis. So let's start from where the things start. You have to have genuine body in somewhere. So accurate Bible prophecies comes to from the heart of a man or a woman that has got a burden that has troubled bedding from the Lord. And you cannot have a bedding from the Lord if you don't dwell in the secret place. And that's practicing the prophetic code of shadow. Let's move to a final point in this video. And the final point is um, curiosity. That's a point, point number four, curiosity. You want to do accurate global prophecy? Curiosity. Curiosity will make you to ask questions. Be curious about something. God, what is it you want to do now? That's what you're curious about. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, help me. I want to know what's, what, what's going to happen in so-and-so nation or country. How concerned are you at all about the program of God? God, what's your next move? Curiosity. That's a secret of the prophets. Coming to the mountain to fast for 40 days and 40 nights. Coming to the wilderness to fast for 40 days and 40 nights. There will be something that you are looking for. That was the practice of the prophets of old. And that's what uh, makes you to be positioned to access prophecies, global based, that will be accurate. Because your curiosity should be revolving here around global based issues. The point here. And what informs that curiosity? 
Number one, the mission concern. Number two, the vision that you have in several visions. Number three, the body. The combination of these trials will push you into curiosity. You seek to know the unknown. Find out. It is herein that because of the positioning of your mind that the Holy Spirit is going to pick what they had discussed in the Trinity and reveal to you. Remember, God is going to give prophecies to prophets, global based prophecies to prophets in the order of the relevance of this prophecy. That's talking about the capacity of each of the prophecy. Curiosity in depth will define your capacity. Curiosity will lead you into in-depth prayer and fasting. Curiosity will lead you to live a life of devote, a devoted kind of life like Anne in the Bible and Simeon when Jesus was brought to them and they were able to identify this is the one we've been waiting for to see the consolation of Israel. So this is what curiosity will bring you into. Curiosity will make you to become um, sold out to God. To the point where nothing matters again but the conscience of God. It's from here that certain prophetic codes that are capable of helping you, like I did mention, the prophetic code of shadow, and the other relevant ones will now begin to come into place because there are things that you are yet to have given enough attention, to pay attention enough to, to be able to tap into the prophetic realm at will. And this is because the bending upon you is not deep enough and the curiosity is not rig rigorous enough. If it is, you will be up and setting. That's why when you see, people will say, this is a prophetic training, it's a course, and somebody feels like, okay, like somebody is burdened, obligated to sign up for it. The other person is indifferent about it because there is no burden, there is no relevant vision, so there is nothing you are fighting to solve. Now, if there was a prophet that Daniel was supposed to go to sit under in Babylon, he would have done it. Finding none that had urged him. Ezekiel was there in Babylon, but you see, apparently God made it clear Daniel was ahead of Ezekiel. And it was clear that what God revealed to Ezekiel were more of national issues, bordering on the Israelites and how it concerns the world. But for Daniel, global based issues because of his office and you to get into that you follow these paths that i've shown you in this video that's step that's these are the first four steps that position you to be able to receive cool down from the holy spirit accurate global based prophecies passed them across to the bright audience god bless you greatly you want to take your prophetic journey to a deeper depth sign up for my certificate course with the shadow school of cs certificate course in forensic prophecy or the micro forensic prophecy certificate course that helps you with being able to do accurate global predictions right away sign up pick the whatsapp contact tomorrow I'll be on the screen here or in the pinned comment of the post on the ministry in the pinned comment on youtube god bless you may the lord release upon you what it takes to be a prophetic hero champion and Jesus might in it.